at Morristown Kiwanis Disc Golf Course. Jackson was able to take the lead back on that one at 37 down. Moving on to hole number one. <clears throat> this hole is pretty aceable too. Mm -hmm. Lots of locals have aced it. I've chained out, but I've never aced it. Dutch hit a tree and skipped over on the right side of the fairway. But that wasn't in. Dutch looking for another long putt. Oh man. And about here is when I was filming that I realized Dutch broke lead. I went into hole two, 327 foot par four. Yeah. <laughs> Made it through, that's crazy. <laughs> These guys are, Dutch uh, is going for over the top, you can see here. He told me that he does that and I was ready for it, but I didn't realize it was gonna go that high. Corey did a great job. Once again, shout out to Corey. Good shots. Yeah. Like... They're making it look a lot easier than it is. I know you guys are thinking that's, uh, the standard play here. Uh, we can get down there, the AMs like us, we can get down there, but it, it's not as common as what you see here. Matt and Dutch are gonna tap in for their birdie threes. That's gotta feel like a par. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, two stroke swing. Carter has jumped up to 38. Dutch looking like he's lining up the same kind of shot. Turns around and walks off. He looks yeah. disappointed. He, he does, but I think because he knew to walk around with a really solid round if you can just lay yourself up for a putt at Kiwanis. Another great putt from Dutch. And the second round was at Pether Creek. The newest. It's going to leave him a little bit longer of a putt than he wants, but I think he should be hopefully able to get up and down from there. Dutch Napier here of Prodigy Discs. I've got a good roll. Very right good. The basket. You got a uh, must get hold for these pros. Yes, you? every everybody, not even just the pros. Mm -hmm. Everybody. If I don't come away with a two on this hole, I'm feeling pretty upset. Yes. With the lead at 27 down, moving on to hole five. It's 300. And That's perfect right there. That's okay. exactly what you want. Dutch looks like he's maybe a putter, or maybe a mid-range. That's what you want to do. You want to miss that tree right there. If you're throwing a high hyzer, you got maybe not quite a, one of the more common twos for an name. Par, which ties Chris and Logan up at 27 down. Moving on to hope because you're going to hit the road and the elevation along with it kind of messes with your shot. Yep. You want to throw high, but you have to keep it flat. So. It definitely gets in your head for it to be such a short hole. Chris, as you saw, threw a perfect shot. Dutch's mm. was, it hit the line, but that one little tree maybe, there. Maybe a little too early on mm -hmm. the release. Uh, we were actually lucky enough to play around and film around with Logan. And to see that forehand in person, I mean, it, the video film him here. And Dickerson are still tied at the top. We cut in a little bit early there. Dutch also going with the forehand. Ooh, that looks little, nice. Maybe a little wide. Nope. That That's looks beautiful. nice. <laughs> I've thrown that line. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dutch. Dutch tapping in. For absolute park job. Yes. Lead from Bowers. We're going on to hole eight here. 333 feet. Maybe a little earlier than he wanted, but he got through. Dutch looks like he's going with a flick. Mmm. Mm. Got a little low on that one, boy. Look at that bounce, nice boy. <laughs> Not too excited. Mm. I know most of you aren't going to agree with that, but uh, I did put the par information as the tournament director has it because uh, the course designer was actually the tournament director as well, so. Uh, towards that roll away zone you get down there in the bottom and it's almost a guaranteed two strokes unless you have an amazing upshot that goes in looks like everybody pretty much played it clean mm -hmm. he's 31 down and bowers is 29 down not exactly sure what's going on 
I don't blame him. He left himself a pretty far putt, but he should be able to get up and down from there. Let me see. Ooh, mm. Dutch kicks. That's the one problem is hitting a, a few of those trees in the fairway there. You can see is a uh, shout out to Corey Murphy who did our second. Dutch you can see is at the bottom of the pit here. He's looking at maybe about 120 feet up, maybe a little more. It's a pretty good flick, but he, he's still got a little bit of work to the actually is. He's still got a pretty far putt. Mm -hmm. mm. Hit the chains and fell out. I hate to see that. Put together a pretty solid round at Panther Creek, so come to a course like this and have a couple of tough breaks. Uh, at 32 down, uh, Bowers at 30. Moving on to hold. Now, Dutch is going for the Annie wow. line. Wow. This is a line you won't see too often, but. I'm glad I did. I'm gonna just out of eight, where you saw a little while ago. And he had a throw in from about 120 feet downhill. So Dang. if you can look back, I had a, uh, we have a 2006 loops around eight, nine, and 10. Hmm. For such a short hole. Yeah. You just, it's like I said, it's a technical. This hole is very, it's a very technical shot. Mm -hmm. That any forehand. Oh, absolutely. You know that you've thrown all your shots right. And still ahead by two and moving on to hole number 12 and see now I throw a low air uh, I mean a, a low ante not the high one and I tend to do pretty good but if you don't throw it right you're ended up you're going to end up going to the left if you're a right-hander and it's not great over there <laughs> true we'd like to mention before we get too far away from it there you can see quite pretty powerful putt mm -hmm. there Prodigy's Dutch Napier out of Kentucky. I would say uh, one of the best putters uh, in the area. Just solid. Very. Just a few behind him with 32 down. Looks like we didn't get the catch cam on that one. We got uh, Prodigy sponsored Dutch Napier out of Kentucky. He's He's got a smooth forehand. Absolutely. He... Almost parked it, but he got a little bit of a skip, and it looks like he's got about four par save. Here's Dutch looking at about a 45 footer for a birdie. Yeah, very good. Actually, maybe not quite 45. I think he was a little bit closer after seeing one. Carter, I'm sorry, Bowers at 32 and Carter at 31 down. Moving on to hole 14, 191. This is a must get for these pros. He had the right idea, Dutch. That's crazy, <laughs> seeing two uh, two uh, backhands on this. Dutch with a putt between the trees and makes good for a birdie. Must get. It. Now this one, hole fifteen. I gotta apologize for some camera issues. With in a row. Dutch is an excellent putter. I noticed that on the other rounds that I filmed him. Oh, oh my goodness. No love from this basket. Around. <laughs> around, around. Around, around. <laughs> hey, I mean, he was the 2016. Birdies and one eagle on that. Moving on to hole 16, 254. Uh, you're pretty much trying to avoid that. If you've got a good flick, you make it down there next to the basket. Mm -hmm. You can see a lot of the pros will go with that right there. Ooh. Beautiful shot from Dutch. We're finally letting Dutch putt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Laving down for this round. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hole 17 plays left to right. It's pretty much a dog leg right. So you want to go pretty much what Dutch was going for there. But he got caught up early. You want to make it around that bend. And the basket you can see is up here on the left of the... As you could see there, he would have been probably parked if it had got that skip up the hill. Dutch, oh man. <laughs> Excellent putt from Dutch. Uh, we got a tie up top at 35 down between Logan and Chris. 
Dutch going to the backhand. This is hole 18, 323 feet. Oh, it's a great shot. Yep. Now Dutch has still got close to 300 feet here, so he's still looking to do some work. And did he get an early tree and then got that far? He actually hit. He's starting to get it back in his head a little bit. He had a good run there with three birdies. A couple unfortunate breaks on the last two. That's just say, oh, there you mm -hmm. go. To hit a tree that early and still take a three, that's... That's, that's I'm just so dynamic on another latitude that can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy. I stay blasting off and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy yeah. since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies. I'm so astonishing. I say, Innova. Yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog. Give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some. And I'ma 